and th those thought forms are have been created from living through physical bodies. In other words, they are created from the material earth plane. That's where they must be returned. Now, the very fact of living on a, in, in, in the physical body is a thought itself of the infinite creative intelligence. If one would wish to advance one's mental evolution, spiritual evolution, one has to leave behind the thought of their physical life, some in, in incremental lives lived, you see. One can't constantly uh, carry the thoughts of yesteryear of uh, rancor or whatever, even of the things that uh, might have been uh, enjoyable uh, and have had a certain uh, pleasure, uh, you know, feeling, uh, because they were factored from, created from a frequency that uh, is equal to that of the uh, atomic uh, body plane. Of course, th that, that isn't exactly black and white, because there is, in fact, individuals who leave, the, when they leave their physical uh, body and, uh, and, and accelerate into the higher level of some development that they've created, they leave behind them the positive thought forms with the individuals that helps these individuals unlock uh, whatever it is that's holding them to this physical plane. The difference between uh, an angel and a, um, a human being, I mean a uh, homo sapien being, is that the angel, his capacity or her capacity for feeling is 100%. And that is they feel the pulse of other people's spirit. Whereas the average homo sapiens, not knowing his own uh, spiritual pulse, can't feel it in the other individual. And therefore, what they see in the other individual is akin to what they are capable of uh, knowing about themselves. I shall stop there. I think we said enough. Uh, we'll open up for about uh, 10 or 15 minutes for any questions. This is uh, Robert Ellingson. And a uh, question I've wondered about many times is uh, I, was, I wondered if, do we truly create our own thoughts or do we merely tune into a certain um, level of consciousness where we simply receive thoughts um, that were created by the infinite intelligence? Or are we involved in this process of creating our own thinking processes? The mind is really the infinite creative intelligence. It becomes your mind when you individualize it through your own life experiences. There is no thought that you receive that is not your own. If it is not your own, it is someone else's thoughts who has been able to break into the privacy of your own sector. That's your own space, which is your uh, infinite fingerprint or your finite fingerprint. So we'll answer the question in two parts. If you believe that you receive the thoughts of the infinite creator, the cosmic mind, and all one has to do is simply tune in, and whatever is needed for your life is provided. Uh, yes, tomorrow morning, you're going to go to the 7-Eleven store, and you're going to get uh, a large bottle of 7-Up uh, and a box of cornflakes, and that's what you'll have for breakfast. <laughs> and, uh, and then you say, uh, yes, uh, and what do I do after that? Well, after that, you go back to your room, and sleep. 
and then you wake up and ask another question, what do I do then? <laughs> That's the absurd, of course. Uh, no, uh, thoughts are created by each individual. The thought is the creative uh, structure that makes a person an individual. And in that respect, a person who has uh, the ability to make decisions. And these thoughts have already been created. You are the results of all the life experiences that you've gained. Now those experiences uh, are, are now the basic inventory in your, um, in your mind. We'll talk about the mind in a, in a much more definitive way next week. Uh, you are receiving the substance of what already you have determined to be important to you or unimportant, real or unreal. And uh, they, they are the charged nature of your, uh, of your spirit self at this moment, to what degree that spirit has recognized its re real nature. Think of the infinite as a, uh, a huge uh, series of programs. Uh, we have approximately 150, maybe 200 channels on uh, television transmitters, receivers. Uh, think of the infinite as being an unlimited number of channels. Now, you can tune into any of the channels uh, on our present television throughout the world if you have the proper receiver. But whatever you tune into, you is makes sense to you on the basis that you can conceive what those signals are. They have meaning to you. They they actually are part of your thought processes. You see, so that's that's reality. Uh, we have heard. Uh, of the uh, just recently of a new Supreme Court justice that was elected to office. If one were watching those programs, one would be tuned in to different aspects of one's own past if one had lived a political life or uh, been involved in government. There would have been some rapport. If not, uh, you wouldn't be interested. If the rapport was on another level, it must have been part of your own experience. You receive only that which you're capable of understanding. You know, cognition means to perceive. So the infinite, uh, whatever it is, is of another level of a higher order of thought processes that cannot be conceived, which is the future of any individual. So in, in summary, one has to accept the full and total responsibility of what one hears coming into their uh, sense structure. And, and uh, of course, it could cause a great degree of uh, concern to feel the thoughts that are coming in. And yet one has to say, well, uh, is that someone telling me that this is true? Is it me thinking this, or is it someone else thinking it? Well, we'll find out that it's possible that someone else has crossed wires and has been able to get through your telephone line. But that's, that's the uh, need to be warned against uh, these trespassers uh, who have lo are lost is in space. Uh, these are people who haven't uh, done the necessary work to determine how they function as a energy system. Basically a great expanded electromagnetic device. Okay, thank you for that question. It's very good and that will lead us into the uh, next uh, session. I want to thank you all for being so uh, hospitable and uh, above all, of course, a thanks to uh, Uriel, our cosmic visionary, 
our true spiritual mentor.